Well, good morning, Calvary. Hope you are having a great day and I uh, hope you were able to join us for Easter this weekend, uh, either in person or online as we celebrated the resurrection of Jesus and the good news that he brings to us. You know, we're jumping back into our study of Psalms and we're going to be in Psalm 61. And I love where this dropped us back into Psalms as we reflect on the good news of Jesus and his resurrection on our behalf. We find ourselves in Psalm 61 and I want to pick up in verse 3. It says this, it says, For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever. Let me take refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You know, as we reflect on just the, the reality of Easter and what it brings to us in our life, we reflect on the fact that, that Jesus is our refuge, that he is the, the source of our protection, our help, our hope, and our purpose for the future. And as we reflect there on Psalm 61, it, it just takes us back to that place that even though the, the psalmist in that moment didn't know the events of Jesus in his life, death, and resurrection yet, he understood the character and nature of God that he cares for us, that he wants to protect us and help us and lead us. But for us here, uh, with the understanding of Jesus and his life, death, and resurrection for us, we get that by trusting in him as our Savior. See, the, the good news of Easter is only good news for us if we trust in Jesus as our Savior and say that, Jesus, you are my king, and I want to follow you everywhere you go. I want you to lead and guide my life. So today, have you done that? Do you believe in Jesus as your Savior? And have you given your life over to him? Have you said, God, I'm in. Here's everything. Here's all of me and all of my life. I want to do whatever you tell me to do. And if that's the truth for you, if that's the reality that you're living in, then we can lean on the good news of Easter and what Psalm 61 is communicating here, that God is our refuge, that we're able to find shelter and help and hope in him, and that he can forever change our life and how we approach difficulties and suffering and sorrow and, and hardship. But that comes through trusting in Jesus. So I pray today that Easter isn't just an event on the calendar for you. I pray that it wasn't just something that, that categorized your Sunday or your Saturday as you worshiped with us, but it's something that changes your Monday because of what you believe and how it's changed your life. And I hope that it's not just the Monday after Easter that's changed but every Monday from here on out, as you live in the hope and good news of Jesus, who died and resurrected for you, so that he could be your hope, your help, your purpose, your salvation for your life. So I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. I hope that you trust in Jesus and find your hope and help in him. We'll see you next time.